And I don't know what was going through my mind that day. Hey, maybe I was locked up. I don't know. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. When you let your nuts hang. Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy, PJ. Today, we are back in the confessional, man. Right next to the trusty 96 Camaro SS. Uh oh, shit. <laughs> Trip. Camaro RS V6 3800 Series. This is the... V4 killer, baby. Here next to my 28 inch rim that we will be putting on the rail. Man, I just got to get the right adapters. I didn't know that finding adapters would be so hard. But here's another thing. I don't want my rim falling off my truck either. So I got to get the right adapters. They a little pricey, so I'm gonna just go ahead and blow the bag. I also like to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't by now, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hit that thumbs up, man. Get them thumbs up, man. Holla at your boy, man. Fuck with your boy. If you watch this video to right now, just give me a thumbs up. Fuck with me, all right? All right, since we in the confessional, man, I figure we'll talk a little bit about prison talk. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a lot of stuff on my heart, and I'm going to discuss in some other videos, but I'm going to talk about calling these bitches in prison. You know what I'm saying? This is about what, what happens when you call these bitches in prison and in real life. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, we get so used to this internet world where you can call a person whatever you want online, but like in jail and in live and real person, man, it ain't like that. You can't just get away with uh, some of the stuff that people do in real life, you know what I'm saying, on the internet. Before we get started, let me go ahead and hit y'all with some uh, business tips, man. I love giving y'all business tips. I love giving y'all business advice, but I just wanna throw something in there to help y'all on y'all's path to success, but also, you know, with the bullshit, I gave y'all some good shit, okay? So let me tell y'all, here's the good stuff. If you don't have a business, it is okay. Still get you an LLC. Still trademark your name because you want to prepare yourself just in case something does pop off. Cause say, you could be going through the process of getting your uh, business ready and you pop off, if you're not trademarked or you don't have an LLC, if you put a clip out there or you put your name out there and for whatever reason you go viral, somebody takes your name, creates a Twitter, creates a, a Instagram. You know, this happens all the time. People lose their intellectual property because they don't have trademarks or LLC. So that's what I wanna just drop those gems, man. If you haven't started a business, it is okay to trademark or LLC stuff without having created actual business so i'm gonna drop that gem on you anyway let's get to it man right into the video remember like comment and subscribe all right man i want to talk to you about you know what i'm saying people in jail and i i had a couple run-ins with people and it was pretty much over using the word bitch and calling them bitch ass when you say bitch ass like that is a word that should be banned b-a-n bitch ass should be banned from prison because if you use it it's automatically fighting you know what I'm saying? You automatically fight. You call anybody a bitch. You refer to them as a bitch. You use it in a funny manner. It's just not good. It's not a good look. And you just gonna have to catch the head up. Even if it is your friend. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to a guy, my homeboy. It's my homeboy cellmate. And he was telling me one time we was playing uh, dominoes and he got the popping off at the mouth. Talking, talking, talking. But whatever, he joked too much. This is the one I said, you know, joke too much. And uh, he ended up getting dropped by the uh, dude or whatever. He an old school cat, but he do joke too much. And he stuttered when he talked. But I'm gonna tell you another story about, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He joked too much. And then one day, I don't know what the fuck it was. I just wasn't feeling it. And I hadn't been locked up that long. But I was just like, oh, that woo -doo 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 -doo. you ain't gonna do nothing. You look older, looking like a bitch. And I said that, and then everybody was just like, oh shit, oh shit. And I didn't really give a fuck, because I was like, I didn't already heard the stories of calling people bitches and stuff. And I was just like, man, fuck it. At that point, I was just like, we just gonna have to fight. And I don't know what was going through my mind that day. Hey, maybe I was locked up. I don't know. You know, I just called him a bitch. You know what I'm saying? What was crazy is, like, everybody was like, oh, shit, man. And then his dude was going off like, oh, nigga, nigga, no, nah, nigga, no, nah, nigga. And then, I was, then he pulled me to the side and was like, hey, listen up, man. Uh, You know, motherfuckers calling people bitches and stuff, man. That ain't cool in here. And you supposed to be my homeboy. You know, I don't want to have to fight and stuff and do all this shit over something. It's just a word to me, man. I don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, but other people might not see it that way. And I was like, man, that's 
I appreciate that. Instead of us fighting, let me tell you, man, like if you don't fight, niggas gonna try you every time. People gonna try you every time because they know you're not gonna fight. So here's the thing, by us not fighting, both of us could have been tested in a different manner. But I, again, I'm a solid individual, so, and he is too. But you know, so we just we just chopped it up like that and uh, you know, we squashed it. As people, you know, black men, you really gotta stick together in jail. Like you can't be fighting over dumb shit like words and stuff because that shit will get you killed and then you just lose an ally. So now you gotta watch your back for the rest of the time. You know what I'm saying? So that type of stuff you wanna avoid by calling people bitches. You know what I'm saying? Don't call a man out of his name, a B word, a female dog, whatever. Just don't do it, but you know, whatever. So along that, while we talk about my homeboy, man, he told me about the time he got his ass whooped by Ice-T. This shit is funny and true, man. I'm telling you, if there is anybody who was sitting around when he told us this story, man, about him getting his ass whooped by Ice-T in this. And it wasn't Ice-T back then. The guy I'm talking about, he from Compton, man. Hey, a funny motherfucker, man. And he got a twin brother, so he, he was talking about I think it's either him or his twin brother got his ass whooped by the uh, Ice-T. But the shit is funny, man. I tell y'all, when I when I see Ice-T on TV, after I, after I heard this story, I never thought of Ice-T the same. You know what I'm saying? Ice-T, he said Ice-T got on the bus and it was him and his brother. Ice-T got on the bus. It was him and his brother. And they was joking around. I could, I could believe that. You motherfuckers talking shit. They said Ice-T got on the bus. And it was Tracy T back there. He said he got on the bus and uh, his brother started joking on Ice-T. Ice-T whooped his ass and sat back down in the seat. Then rode the bus to his stop right next to this nigga sitting on the ground and laughing at him, talking noise. And Ice-T had his old boys with him. So my whole boy, he was talking about how he just had to sit there and his brother was sitting there leaking and bleeding. He finally got off the ground and got on the, got the bus seat. So after that, I was like, damn, Ice-T a real gangster. But after that, you know, I got out of prison. I, Ice-T started talking about all these stories, you know, podcasts and stuff came around. And then you hear all these stories about Ice-T and I was like, damn, man, I knew that. I knew what that dude told me was true about Ice-T being a gangster because I hear all the stuff on TV, I mean, on, on his music, but I don't know Ice-T like that. Like, I wasn't around Ice-T. He's the real deal. And when I hear his stories on his podcast and the real shit he do, I'm like, yeah, he the real deal. He really whooped somebody's ass, I know. This is the second time I'm talking about a story where he got his ass whooped or somebody he know got his ass whooped. I'm gonna quit talking about him, but I just wanted to put that in there, man. Stop calling people bitches, man. Listen to the people you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? If you're in prison, man, just shut up. You know what I'm saying? If you're in prison, you know, don't start beefs. Go home early. You know what I'm saying? The, the thing is, if you if you go in if you go into prison acting hard, <laughs> they got somebody for you. And and hey, you might beat up a few people. Them prison doors don't stop. It's like a revolving door. But hey, anyway, stay y'all's asses out of prison. Hey, thank y'all guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead, drop me a comment. Tell me you fuck with me. Everyday people, I'll holla at you. Peace. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy, PJ. Man, are you in the middle of the game and your wife is nagging you about that property you still ain't sold? Give me a call at 405-759-0038 and let me get rid of that property for you. No hassle. Get rid of it. Cash up front. Give me a call. 405-759-0038 and let me get that property sold for you so you can get back to the game.